Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Mashoka Tensei Season 2 Episode 11 and I've been patiently waiting for this one because um, the last one was very interesting. We had a huge revelation and uh, some major progress with Rudeus' problem. So uh, let's see. Let's see where we go on this one. Hopefully we make a little more progress with Fitz and Rudy. My boy had an all-nighter. He couldn't even sleep, man. <laughs> I mean, I you know, I get it, though. Especially, he'd been dealing with this for so long, like... Yeah, and then it, like, he had that reaction, and then it just went away. So now it's like, now what, you know? I mean, we kind of, we kind of know sort of what the solution is. He's just got to figure out how to act on it. Mm, so they know that he knows. I'm assuming Fitz told them. And they're concerned that he's going to open his mouth. But he don't want no trouble. And I don't blame him. Because not only could this ruin things between him and Fitz. But it could also just ruin his entire situation and what he got going on. So... Like, why would he want to jeopardize anything that he got going on right now? He like, look, I, I don't know nothing. Leave me alone. I'm not trying to cause no trouble, man. <laughs> I could imagine, man. I could imagine it's not easy because it's one thing to like get a glimpse of what the solution is, and it's another thing to have the solution like kind of flash itself right in your face and you can't do anything about it so it's like i was looking for the solution and couldn't find it but it was out there somewhere now that i know what the solution is i literally can't even act on it and so it's like it's just man that's a that's a rough situation man it's not a not a good spot to be in all things considered but he said he was gonna do it so that's what he gotta do man he gotta just respect the the situation and not overstep his bounds. So we did confirm that that was the princess out when they were shopping. Uh, that was confirmed to me in chat, and um, I remember some hearing something about it. I also remember her telling Fitz a while back that you may use fits how you see fit and i thought that was a weird kind of statement to make uh but now it makes more sense so that's been cleared up um i feel like the princess now is going to tell her like look <laughs> like he knows now you need to like figure this out because i feel like at this point fits avoiding the situation is making it more difficult for the princess probably I, I, I feel like that's where she's going to go with this, or maybe not. I don't know, but I think we're all tired of this charade at this point. Mm, that's about what I expected. Because she, the princess finds Rudy to be, you know, somewhat useful too, at the same time. And I think Fitz... I think Fitz has been avoiding allowing the princess to kind of get her clutches on Rudy. Um, like, not not to say that she's evil or something, but she is opportunistic. And she does, she does want to bolster her ranks and stuff and get as much support as she can. And I don't think Fitz wants Rudy to be involved with that. Um, because she knows how influential the princess can be. And how, you know... <laughs> Just how easily controlled the Rudy can be, so. But she's getting tired of wait. And like I said, the rest of us are too. She's just like, you need to figure this shit out because this is getting out of hand. And even the princess is like, I'm ready to tell him myself. Because you bullshit. So I get it. Here's the thing though, like... No matter how you slice it, she did give you a place to stay and she, you know, kind of 
held you to, you know, and kept your cover all this time, whatever. But at the end of the day, literally, the moment you showed up into her life, you saved her the first time. You saved her. You've been fighting off assassins and staying by her side or whatever. Like, y'all are basically on equal footing at this point and have been for a long time. Um, I know you felt like you were her bodyguard and her servant, but at the end of the day, I feel like she always saw you as a friend or somebody she can count on and believe in. Like, people get really too caught up with this type of stuff, and then they devote themselves to a person forever and completely dismiss anything they want, you know? But it's like, after you've paid your debt to somebody, after you've kind of given back, you know, what they were able to give you, like, it's okay to move on, man. You don't have to devote yourself to somebody, you know, forever. Like, you can just repay the favor and move on with your life, you know what I mean? Rudito. Oh my god. Come on, bitch. Like, really? Alright. Well, this is gonna get dragged on forever. But that doesn't make any sense. That logic does not make any sense to me. Her hair is different. It's not as long as it was before. Like, it, it's a completely different color. Like, that's a that's a major feature. Like, he has no reason just to believe that this is somebody he knew. Like, and he's never seen their eyes either. So, those would be the two dead giveaways. Is seeing their eyes... And seeing their hair and it's not the same like if you looked exactly the same as before with no difference and no alterations you were just bigger then yeah i think he would have recognized you right away but that's not a good argument to make in this situation because you don't look the same so it's <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> See, and that, that makes it even worse. That makes it make even less sense. You were bullied specifically. Specifically, you were bullied at that time because of your hair color. It is not the same that it was before. Like, that's a dead giveaway. Yeah, I can't I can't even believe she told that story. And isn't that ironic? Isn't that freaking nuts when they first met? And here see, now I'm getting even more mad because every bit of information we get proves how stupid Sophie is being right now. Think about this for a second. Their very first encounter ever, after he saved her for an extended period of time, he thought she was a male and had to find out hard the hard way that she was a female. If that don't jog his memory again and instantaneously remind him of who you are, considering that exact same scenario is playing out right now, I don't know what the like. He has to be completely brain dead at that point. Like y'all are not making a good case for this. This is the show in my mind. This is the show telling us. Like, we've been dragging this along all this time for no reason, just to waste your time and annoy you. <laughs> like, this is so fucking infuriating right now, because, it, like, the more information I get, and the more this episode goes on, the more this show is telling me, oh yeah, she had ample reason to reveal herself, and it would have made complete sense. There's no way he would have absolutely forgotten her, considering all the evidence we're laying down. Because I completely forgot about that. I had completely forgot that he thought she was a boy in the first place. And now here we are in the exact same situation. <laughs> okay. I was not. I was absolutely not expecting that at all. All. Holy shit. I. Okay, as 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 bashful, as embarrassed as she seems to be about this situation, I literally cannot believe she just went into deep detail about a, her sexual fantasies. 
I am just floored at the fact that this just happened. That is crazy. Sylphie, you are a bag of surprises. Man, if Rudy heard this right now, oh my god. Bro, Luke, Luke, he trying his best. Luke is trying his best to hold the straight face. And the princess is like, this bitch is nasty as I am. <laughs> because she know, she knows she a freak too. But she trying to, she trying to stay dignified and professional. But Paul, I almost called him Paul again. Luke is over there like, mm, don't make a face, man. Don't do it. Oh. oh, the stakes have gotten bigger now. She like, look, if you don't get your shit together and you don't do what you need to do, then that's it. It's over for you. Oh, wow. OK, hell yeah. This is what I like. Princess is putting her foot down and I am here for it. Absolutely. Stop the bullshit. I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Let's get get to the point, shall we? I'm actually really excited right now. I'm like super pumped. I know it's not going to happen in this episode, but I, I want it to. Like, they're really building this up to where it's like, okay, it's finally going to happen. But... I just, I, I don't know, man. I'm glad the princess stepped in because this was getting out of hand. Man, he's got to be, having somebody like Zenoba around has to be really useful, man. Because not only is he like stupid freaking strong, but like... He, he does everything that Rudy says, which is great. It's great to have somebody you can count on like that. Not just somebody you could boss around and tell to do, you know, just somebody you can count on. You know what I mean? Somebody who's got your back no matter what. Oh, yeah. OK, I see. All right. I see where I see where this is going. All right. Okay, this is this is interesting. Okay. Look at Rudy is trying to find a way out already. He's like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Rudy, you fumble in the ball, man. Focus up. My man is avoiding every opportunity to just do this. Like, <laughs> he's trying to find every shortcut imaginable. She's not asking you to cheat. She's asking you for help. I wonder if this is like the first quest or like, yeah, I don't know, mission. You know, he's gone on with bits like outside. Uh, cause since he's been in, in the school, like, I don't think I've ever seen him really go out, you know, to do any type of adventurer type stuff at all. So this will be interesting. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, Fitz, focus. What are you doing? That's a, I like that uh <clears throat> that fur kind of jacket that she got on though. That thing's pretty sweet. Man, how convenient is that, dude? I'm telling you, look, when when the Neuralink VR stuff finally starts to come out and you can put your consciousness in the games and stuff. I'm telling you, man, I'm never leaving. Yes. 
Mm, okay. We already know about rings and what kind of power and stuff they hold because of uh, Nanahoshi, so... What's this one do? I wonder. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Dude, do you know... Do you know how out of pocket I would be if I had the power where... Okay, it's about to start raining. I don't worry. I'll get these clouds out of here. No biggie. I'm like, what? What? I, I'm the wrong one to give that type of power to. Mm, okay. I, all right. This plan is unfolding. And I, I think I know exactly what's going on here. Okay. We'll see if it's going to work out because this show, they like to fuck with us, man. So we'll see. It's one thing to have a rainstorm, but it's a whole nother thing to have it start raining when you're walking out in the snow. That's just like double insult to injury. Because not only are you wet, but you're going to freeze too. So you basically have to... Ah, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I think, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I am starting to get this now. <laughs> Rudy, man, he's, he's grown up a lot, man. He's a lot more perceptive. Uh, but, you know. He still can't understand what the women around him are thinking. Uh, but, you know, what is he, 15, 16 now? So that's not surprising. You manning up, Rudy? Are you manning up right now? Is that what's happening? Okay. All right. Oh, man, this plan better work. Losing too much body heat would be fatal. Uh, it, it doesn't look like they can do it on their own, Rudy. Doesn't look like it looks like they need help. They're fro they're chilled to the bone, Rudy. You gotta help them. You gotta help your friend. Look, I know there's rules about the you know taboo showing your skin when you're an elf man, but like this is an emergency. They could die. Get in there. There it is. I guess you will. I guess I guess you look, it's an emergency, man. People's lives are at stake. We have precious moments. Okay, so they have both confirmed right now we're on equal footing. We are both aware that you are female. Okay, we got that out of the way. That's very important that we establish that. I want you to know. Because, like, and dude, he's being extra cautious right now, which is good. Because he knows the type of stuff that he's been through. He The type of misunderstandings he got into, the type of situations and stuff that happened. Like, all of his experiences now are making him very delicate and careful about this situation. And I can respect that. Like, a lot of people say Rudius never grows and he has no growth at all and he's the same person he was before. I don't think so at all. Like, he has developed quite a bit since then. And the way that he's handling this situation in the first place should tell you that he is not the same Rudy he used to be. So, you know, give give my man props where he, where he you know, where it's due. Mm -hmm. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. It's... Like I said, uh, how could he ever forget? Oh, come on. You can take off the glass. 
You don't need help taking off them glasses. Come on. But I get it. I understand the symbolism here. I understand why this is important. So we'll we'll forgive it for now. Ah, yes! Oh my god, fucking finally, dude! Oh man, I am, I'm exhausted, man. I am fucking tired. <laughs> oh my god, how long did we have to wait? All this worry. The whole, the whole reason she didn't say anything from the very beginning is specifically because she thought that he forgot about her. But I just do not understand how she could ever think that. That is mind blowing to me, especially considering her appearance. That's the thing that gets me. Like I understand under other circumstances, you know, she's young, you know, like there's a lot of things that younger people deal with that doesn't make sense or that isn't logical or whatever, but like she looks different. That's the part that gets me. You don't look the same. So why would he recognize you? That's just like that's like assuming all elves look alike. Like he just he should have just assumed all elves look alike and just was like, oh, every elf is my friend from a childhood. Like no, like it. That's the part that gets me. That's the part that's the most frustrating. If her hair was still green, then yes, that would make the scenario even more ridiculous. And the fact that he didn't recognize her right away would have been a shock because like, come on, bro. But it's not. So, you know, I just, that whole part is the part I can't really get over. Oh, oh, oh my God. I didn't think, I didn't think she was going to go there. I thought it was just going to be the reveal and then we were going to have to wait even longer for that. No, she said it right away. Oh man, what a freaking payoff, dude. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. I, I was like, I'm no, it's not going to happen this episode. I know it's not. Ugh, that was so satisfying, man. I want to say it was worth the wait, but it wasn't. I'm still mad about having to wait that long. <laughs> like... God damn, they, they did make it count. Absolutely. Everything that was supposed to be said up until this point has now been said. It's all in the air. Like he, he knows who she is and he knows that she loves him. Like that, I couldn't ask for a better outcome. I couldn't ask for a better outcome. I'm gonna shut up now about all the stuff I've been bitching about this whole time. Let's see if there's any more. I want to stay with you forever. All right. Okay. Okay. Is there like a after now? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I got yeah. That's yeah. Everything everything I feel like needs to be said has been said. Thank you. Thank you, Mashoka Tensei, for finally deciding. To not waste my fucking time the situation and giving us a well-deserved payoff because my god oh man i couldn't handle it anymore i couldn't handle it but i really hope like i hope from this point on like this is going to be like this is his girl you know what i mean like no no bullshit no like ah uh, you know we gotta fucking figure it out we'll just be friends until further no like i hope but then again like I know it can't really happen like that because she still fits. Uh, Fitz is still the princess's bodyguard for the time being. But I do hope in the foreseeable future they are able to like, you know, she can join his party now, and that can be they can be together. I, like I hope that's the result. Don't spoil me, guys, in the chat. I know you're probably itching to tell me, but yeah, I, I'm hoping that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad it finally happened. It took way too long, but here we are, and that was perfect. I can't, I couldn't ask for anything better. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one. I'm, I'm so pumped for the next episode. Like, 
I don't know what to expect now.